Hi, in this video we're going to um, uh, solve the quadratic equation uh, ax squared plus bx plus c equal to zero. And uh, the way we'll do that um, is we realize that we've got three coefficients here, but we can actually turn this into just two coefficients by dividing by a, so x squared plus b over a x plus c over a equals zero. And now just for convenience, um, let's say this is a x squared plus um, r x plus s equals zero. So we'll just remember that r is equal to b over a and s is c over a, okay? Because um, it just makes it a lot easier for us uh, in terms of the writing and to see what's going on. Now, to solve this, what we're going to do is we're going to actually rewrite it in the form x plus something, let's call it t squared, plus some other number, uh, let's call it uh, w is equal to zero. Now if we can do that, if we can rewrite this in this form, then we can solve it because we'd have uh, x plus t squared is equal to minus w. Uh, oh, I've written that wrong. we'd have uh, x plus t all squared is equal to minus w. So x plus t would be the square root of minus w. So x would be the square root of minus w minus t. Yeah. And notice we'd have two solutions because this would be plus or minus. When we square root it, it becomes plus or minus. Um, so that's what we want to do. So because we can't rearrange this on its own. So we want to try and find this T and this W, which have this nice property, okay? So let's start by just looking at X plus T squared. That's gonna be X squared plus two X T plus T squared, okay? And we can make this r the same as 2t. So we can we can make t, t is r over 2. Yeah? If we make t equal r over 2, then we got x plus r over 2 squared would be x squared plus r, because notice this 2 and the t are going to cancel, so rx plus r over 2 squared, so r squared over 4, yeah? So we've got the right number here, but we still need to find a number here. So if we've got x plus r over 2 squared, it would be that. But what if we take this away, because this is wrong, and then we add the s. So let's do minus r squared over 4 plus s. Yeah? Then that's actually going to be x squared plus rx plus s if you notice because we've removed the bit that didn't that wasn't right and we've added in the s so this is the same as this so earlier on when we were trying to find variables we can see that it's this and this so if we set x plus r over 2 squared um, 
equal to so so we can solve this basically if uh, minus uh, r squared over 4 plus s equals 0 can be solved um, so let's add this and so let's just do a little bit of rearranging uh, x plus r over 2 squared is equal to r squared over 4 minus s and then we can square root so x is equal to x plus r over 2 is equal to plus or minus the square root of r squared over 4 minus s so x is going to be minus r over 2 plus or minus the square root of r squared over 4 minus s and that's the solution to the uh, quadra uh, quadratic equation now that's not in the standard form so we need to do a little bit of messing around with it to get the um, so remember at the beginning we let r equal b over a and s is c over a so let's put those in here um, so if we just substitute the, those values in x equals minus b over 2a that's minus r over 2 would be minus b over 2a plus or minus the square root of um, this is going to be b squared over 4a squared minus and this is just c over a right and so in order to simplify this to get the normal equation that we uh, are used to um, what we do is we're going to uh, make the this fraction on the bottom here 4a squared so let's multiply the top and bottom of this c over a by 4a and then we get x equals minus b over 2a plus or minus the square root of b squared over 4a squared minus 4ac over 4a squared so notice we've made the the denominator the same on both sides so then we uh, can simplify that again x equals minus b over 2a plus or minus the square root and we just put it all over 4a squared uh, b squared minus 4ac but 4a squared 4a squared is equal to 2a all squared so we can take that out from the square root so x equals minus b over 2a plus or minus and then we've got the 1 over 2a taken out and we have b squared minus 4ac 
and then we got 2a and 2a so we can put those together and it then it becomes x equals minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a and that is the formula for a quadratic and that's where it comes from <laughs>